Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the comments and then maybe if we have time, we'll look at the top 50. Let's get straight into it. K4 says, is silver doing a Y cough? Okay, so we take a look at Zeg USD. Uh, Zeg is silver. Okay, so silver, in my opinion, is in a very big accumulation. And it's only a matter of time before silver breaks higher. Right. One, two is... Right now, it's the season for risk on. So nobody is going to be investing into silver. If you look at the S&P uh, 500, right? We are at 5,000, yo. Five freaking thousand. And it's an all-time high. It's risk on season. And the Fed is about to start printing soon, in my opinion. Once the Fed starts printing, China starts printing as well. And everything is just going to start inflating towards the upside. We're all going to be rich and then we're all going to be poor. So let's get rich first. It's risk on. So when it's risk on, nobody is investing into gold. Nobody is investing into silver. So yeah, risk on, that means you should be in high risk, higher risk assets compared to gold. Gold is safe. Silver is safe, right? Um, S&P 500 is riskier compared to gold, right? Let's say bottom to top. It's, it's 42, uh, 42, 43%. When was this? October 22. Right, up to the top, February 24. It's 43%. If you look at um, gold, right? Where's October 22? Okay, October 22, until today, it's 23%. So S&P 500 is risky, is better. If you look at, um, again, crypto as a total, right? Total crypto cap, right? Where was this? October 22. Are you a bro? Where's October 22? Yeah, October 22, we were here. Right. Look at where we are. 100% yo. Total crypto market. And in any crypto, you should be, you know, making money, right? Some more than others. So it's risk on season. We should not be looking at gold and silver. But, 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 but silver is in an accumulation. So yeah, there we go. Hello, is it possible to TA arc block LCX and HBAR? Nothing much for LCX. It's overbought. You should not be looking at things when they're overbought. And HBAR, we just did it yesterday, so check it out. Great TA, high five! Um, should take a look at Prisma. Let's go. Prisma could be in an accumulation as well, right? Uh, but there's just nothing much yet. So very hard for us to, you know, say anything at this point of time. Yeah, it's still uncertain, right? We might get something like this, but... Uh, only time will tell. Several months down the road, we'll probably see something. If not, then yeah, we'll just snack it. Next, Prisma. Let's go! Another great video. Thank you very much. AVEX. Yes, sir. So, let me give you a gift today. So, uh, we're expecting AVEX to continue higher, right? Even when AVEX continues higher, AVEX's ecosystem will rise as well, especially AVEX's meme coins. Let me just uh, share with you a meme coin. We're in a few meme coins, but we'll share with one of it. Um, meat. So meat is a meme coin on AVEX. Uh, we got in around... You bro, bro, bro. We got in around here, I think. Around here. After the break of this, right? Somewhere around here, we got in. Here we are for meat. I mean, of course, uh, if you didn't buy any meat, I would not recommend going into meat at this point of time because we're going into overbought territory. I suspect that uh, we'll go very close to the high. 2.5, 2.8 maybe. Here. And then we might consolidate a little bit before continuing higher. That's my take for meat. Uh, I would prefer it uh, if it zipped up, zip down, and zip up and zip down and zip up and then eventually it breaks. This is a much more sustainable uh, accumulation, right? I mean, of course, we could also just zip all the way back up. Of course, for sure. Uh, and it's only 1 million market cap. <laughs> Can you go to 10 million? Is 10 million out of reach? No. 10 million will be a 10x uh, from where the price is right now. Can you go to 100 million? Uh, 100 million will be 100x for me. <laughs> but again, this is meme coin. So these are all tail risk trades, which means that you put a little bit of money, but you expect excess returns. So that's meat for you. Just a, you know, yeah, AVEX. AVEX! Meat will be rising faster than AVEX. You, there'll be higher returns compared to AVEX. Hi bro, can you talk a bit about Bitcoin dominance? Yes, so let's get straight into it. Bitcoin dominance. So if you look at Bitcoin dominance, yeah, so Bitcoin dominance is still above the skinny pink line. We're still in an uptrend. How much longer? We don't know. 
Uh, could we be forming inverse head and shoulders to head high? Of course. Of course, for sure. Uh, but over the long run, right? Over the long run, we're expecting Bitcoin dominance to come back down. And bound and down. Descending triangle. Potentially dropping back to one single digit for Bitcoin dominance. I mean, of course, we don't see right now. Sure, we could break skinny pink line convincingly going up and going much higher. Sure, of course. But as it stands, we are hitting resistance at the skinny pink line. Sure, we could zip up a little bit higher. Right, uh, proper resistance will be at around 61%. Right now, we're at 53 Could we still hit higher? Of course, we could. So it feels like we're about to complete an inverse hand shoulders. Potentially, right? Potentially. Again, we, it's not confirmed yet. So yeah, there you go. That's Bitcoin dominance for you. Uh, if 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 crypto does fall, right, Bitcoin dominance is going to start rising. If we if we have a deep correction, so it depends though. It depends. If Bitcoin continues rising, then of course all season continues. So it depends. It all depends. Mm, okay, yo bro, where are we? Mm, thank you for yet another update skinny this week. It's a top forty. We falling it. Yes, it is. Thoughts on Super Bowl? I think the Chiefs won, right? Uh, long time fan of you, Skinny Pink Clan. Rules? Yes, it does. Not even a minute to posting first. Here's your medal. Uh, it's a scam contract. Token is a scam contract. Okay, uh, if you look at token, it seems to be in a consolidation and accumulation of sorts. Right. We've been going sideways for some time. And not particularly obvious, right? Uh, so, okay, we're not entirely sure. Right, uh, sure, we could go up and down, up and da, 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 pum, we go higher. If we do something like this, great. If not, we move on. Right, uh, just because it's a scam contract doesn't mean we can't tra take trades for it, right? Again, these are all tail risk trades, uh, which means that you pull a little bit uh, and, you bet, and you expect uh, big returns, right? Uh, we're at 16 million though, so I think if we were to rise a little bit higher, um, yeah, again, we'll, we'll see how it goes first though. Doesn't seem like there's anything at the moment. Uh, always great takes. Dragon Ball Z is golden. Yes, it is. Soup Saiyan, great skin. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thumbs up. All right, uh, let's take a look at what is this? seven minutes. Let's take a look at um, top fifty. Let's get straight into it. Say you against BDC. Here you are, bro. Say against BDC. Feels to me like there's another wave up. One, two, three, four. One more up. Reaching to three thousand. That's my guess. Three thousand. Uh, could there be some accumulation here first before heading higher? Yes, very likely. Say against USD. Anything for say against USD? Yes, we have a target over here. Ta-da! Fresh out of the oven for you at $1.30. So more upside? Yes, more upside. Do we see any bearish reversals? No, we don't. Everything is green. Today is still green. We haven't closed today yet. Yesterday was green. Day before was green. There was indecision. Long legged dojis. And then the day before was green as well. So everything is still green. More upsides to be expected for, I uh, say. And we have our 130 target. I think that's it for uh, say, right? And you can see the waves. One, two, three, four. That's it. Fifth wave. Beautifully five. So yeah, <laughs> remember to secure your profits. It's not a profit until you secure it. It's all just on paper. Don't take the roller coaster. Again, no guarantees. Of course, say could just, you know, go up to the moon. Say goes to 100 bucks from here. Sure, of course. But we are very severely overbought. And I would expect us to see a uh, dip. So that's safe for you. Mental! Mental against BTC. We'll look at it on Bybit. So mental could be in a squeeze over here, right? Coming down, get a C. Best case scenario. Nothing for us at the moment. So we're going to have to be patient. Mental, okay, let's look at it on Bybit. Against USD, same freaking thing. Do you see this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Gravestone Doji. Gravestone Dojis are bearish reversal chart patterns. Mental could be heading much lower. Uh, and to be honest, we actually do welcome that because this whole thing could turn into a squeeze. Look at this. Before we rose, what did we get? A freaking hammer. Pum! Shooting star. Pum! Not shooting star. Uh, Gravestone Doji. Gravestone Doji, shooting star, almost the same thing. This is Something like a shooting stuff, not exactly. But we still did collapse though. So, yeah, it's not looking good. Mental is not looking good. I would preach caution about uh, taking a ride on mental. Uh, where are we now? Monero. Bye. It's going out of the top 50. Monero is yeah, it's just dropping into irrelevance. Um, you can be salty about it if you want to. 
or you can um yeah accept things for what they are uh we are hitting a noisy area over here but there's no bricks where are the bricks for monero none to be seen monero against usd doesn't look good why doesn't it look good because we get mountain ranges we have been getting mountain ranges on monero for a very long time we still have our target over here at 73 dollars 73 freaking dollars since august until today we still stand by our target at 73 monero is not doing well chronos against bdc here we are for chronos we look at it on cookine so chronos very important very, very important for chronos to hold these lows the moment chronos takes out these lows that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it we don't look back that's it we just move on against usd yes we still look good against usd but uh, we have to take into consideration the bdc pair so because on the usd pair what is this what is this there's nothing this could be a wave two though and we could be going up for a wave three right but if bdc starts correcting right now it's going to pull chronos back down and it's going to pull the bdc pair down as well so the chart pattern just really isn't that good for chronos not at this point of time Sui! Sui against BDC. Okay, Sui has already done quite a lot. And it feels to me like Sui is curving. Do, do you feel the curve here? Do you feel the curve? Yeah, it's like we're curving back down. Um, we we're very close to the highs. So, yeah, again, okay, I push caution. Very toppy. Very, very toppy. So, be very, very careful uh, about Sui. Sui against USD. Here we are for Sui. Uh, we've almost, almost taken out these highs. Not yet. Uh, again, very toppy. I preach caution. I would preach caution. So, yeah, no, it's not really looking that good. Be careful, boys and girls. Be careful. Render against BDC. Here we are for Render. Anything for Render? Okay, Render is still bullish, right? Uh, and Render is uh, about to complete a symmetrical pump. We're about to break higher for Render. Right, but how much higher could we go? Eh, we're very close to the highs. So this would be a surprise move. Surprise, uh, no, I think like uh, a fake out, a fake breakout, taking out all the clusters of stock buys here, and then bam, pulling the price lower. We are already up so much, so I would uh, preach caution about going long for render against USD. Here we are for render USD again, very close to its all time highs. Uh, seven, yeah, seven seventy eight, seven eighty. We're at 553. I feel like the end is not too far away. If you look at the MACD. It's a potential lower high on the RSI as well, but it's already a higher high on the price. Bearish divergence. We can already spot the bearish diver divergence, but of course, we're not going to open shots. We're going to wait for the sell to come in first. All right. I mean, sure, of course, uh, there could be surprises and then we could just, you know, zip all the way up for sure, for sure. Uh, but as it stands, you know, you don't buy things when they are overbought. Rune against BDC. Four chain. Uh, Rune is still good. Right, we still expect more downside for Rune. If anything, this is a one, two, three, four, one more. Up five. Still above the skinny pink line. Still with a bullish bias for Rune BDC. Against USD, Rune is still above the skinny pink line. Yes, sir. So again, same thing. One, two, three, four, one more. Five. So the only question we have is are we gonna take this out? And also this? Or is it just this? Which one? Or we're not gonna take any of this, right? We stop short of taking it. And then we have a deep correction. Yes, no? Again, we're not entirely sure. Or could we be correcting, correcting right again? We're not entirely sure. Uh, so we don't see any high quality tradable chart patterns for Rune yet. This whole thing is a one, two, three, four, five. Right. This is a very strong type of a B. Right. Hopefully we get something like this and we continue higher. Would be awesome. Right. Uh, we could correct, I don't know, I don't know 20 over percent. If and when we rise. So yeah, we'll see how it goes for Rune. Maker is still incredibly bullish, right? Maker against BDC. Uh, if you look at it very carefully, I feel like Maker is forming a wave E, right? A, B, C, D. This whole thing is becoming a wave E. It's very high quality, uh, Maker's uh, accumulation. Very high quality. I think Maker could be. Breaking out uh, against BTC. Big breakout uh, could be uh, coming though. So I'm like, it looks really good. It looks really good, Maker. I like what I see of Maker, to be honest. Uh, 
against USD. Okay, it's not so obvious against USD, right? We had a target over here, 1008. Uh, and so we've already hit targets. Ta -da! Ta -da 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 -da! Okay, let me just see. Maker. So if you look at Maker, 1008, we got this since July 11, 2023, July. Uh, and as the symmetrical triangle was breaking out, A, B, C, D, E, BOOM! We're out. That's it. 1008. Right. Um, so, yeah, we were here. BOOM! <laughs> Let me continue higher, 1008. Uh, more upside? Yeah, potentially more upside. Mm, I'm assuming at least 4,000 though. 4,005. 4,005, yes. We're still very early. I still think there's more upside. I don't think we're done yet. Maker is going to slowly crawl its way up. Uh, but the chart pattern isn't really that high quality. So again, I, I push caution uh, even when it comes to Maker. So yeah, there you go. Um, the graph. Let's take a look at GRT, BDC. Anything for the graph? I don't think so. Still under the scanning pink line. Still in A. Bearish trend. Graph against USD. Uh, we could get an ascending here. Maybe something like that. Value 1, value 2, value 3, breakout. We'll see though, we'll see. We're not entirely sure uh, for the graph. Mm. Multiverse X, EGLD, PDC. Here we are for Multiverse. Okay, this is not good. Why? It's a head and shoulders. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Uh, it's not looking good, it's not looking good. I'm still largely under the skinny pink line. But yeah, this is the first attempt to break it. Fail, it's okay, we try again. Uh, but. Yeah, there's just nothing much for EGOD, BDC against USD. Could be something. We're above the skinny pink line, right? Um, but the sharp pattern isn't really that obvious. So we have to be very, very careful uh, about rushing in. It's not as obvious. It's not that clear. So I'd be, yeah, pretty caution for uh, EGLD. But if this is a wave two, right? Wave one, wave two, we could be coming up for a wave three, wave four, and a wave five. Going back to potentially, uh, wait, if I had a target, it would be about 380 though, around 380. So at this point of time, yeah, I just don't see it yet. So be careful about rushing in for Multiverse X. All right, boys and girls, I guess that's it for today's Top 50. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Ta -da!